Whoa, how are you doing today? Okay, so <laughs> there is something amazing going on today. I would like to talk to you about how you should protect your study abroad dream, all right, by getting a second opinion. Protect your study abroad dream by getting a second opinion. Especially when something that you are hearing is something negative. All right? So, <laughs> so again, what is the topic we are dealing with today? The importance of protecting your study abroad dream by getting a second opinion. Especially when the news you are hearing is a negative news. All right? So, I, I, what actually prompted this topic? I just was chatting with a prospective student right now who was worried why because somebody the pers the student wants to go to Canada is a male the the student wants to go to Canada and the student has reached out to a friend who is in Canada about study abroad and the friend has told the person that see you cannot come if you don't have a, an older sponsor the thing was so specific that i had to actually wonder where the person got the information from oh my god he said you have to have an older sponsor who is based in nigeria for you to be able to relocate to canada via the study abroad route you know like you know what worries me this information is so specific filled with details do you get what i mean that you can never suspect that it is a lie you can never suspect that is a lie you know and the person was worried that oh my god right now i don't have any sponsor living the, the person is from nigeria as well i don't have any sponsor living in my country nigeria so does that mean <laughs> does that mean my relocation plan is dead you know this was what was worrying the person before the person reached out to me and as i responded i, I figured that a lot of people may be in the same shoes right a lot of people may be going through the same thing you may be here listening to me right now and you have reached out to somebody that you know that have relocated to the country it could be canada it could be us it could be australia it could be uk it could be poland it could be any country you are going to right and you have reached out to somebody who have relocated to that place and all they are giving you is bad news ah this place is not the place for you to come or this this the, the question why are they still there Eh? how did they go there you know how they see them so one thing i want you to do is that once you hear this negative news always get a second opinion from somebody else different from that person and if you still hear bad news from the second person you are contacting get another second opinion if you still hear bad news get a second opinion get a second opinion until it is obvious to the blind that the, they are lying or that what they are telling you is the truth okay you may if you don't know you don't know you may not know that something is a lie or that something is truth but if you keep getting a second opinion anytime you get a negative news you are likely to find somebody who understands who knows what is going on <laughs> how can you tell somebody like that without a sponsor living in their own country a, an older sponsor living in their own country they cannot relocate abroad through the study abroad routes okay now before i go on bashing the person that gave this fake news okay i mean the person that gave this fake news i want you to know that amongst many things there are at least three things that can amongst many things there are three things that can actually make someone to give you a fake information you want to hear them there are three things the first one is lack of information there is a high chance that this person too who is talking like the person giving the news giving the information to you the person giving you the wrong information there is a high chance that they don't have the information they don't know perhaps if they knew better if they know better they will have told you better right there is a high chance that they don't know so before i go on bashing them for giving you fake news i want you to know that one of the three reasons why they may give you that news is because of lack of information so it's like Forgive them for they don't know what they are saying. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Forgive them for they know not what they are saying. So that's the first one. The second reason the person may give you that fake news is that maybe they don't have time. 
It's like you are contacting somebody, contacting somebody, contacting somebody. Truth be told, abroad can be so busy. Okay, abroad can be so busy. Uh, uh, most people uh, in the morning they are rushing to work. They are coming back. You know, they, they are doing a lot of things. When you are even talking to them, maybe they are driving, trying to text you, trying to make sure that police doesn't catch them driving. Do you get? They are running to work. They are late. Some people are even doing multiple jobs. That's the truth. Because abroad, you get paid a lot of money for the hours you spend at work. But every single minute counts. So imagine this person is on a 15 minutes break and they are responding to you, right? So they may not have time. So it's like a way to, you know, the way somebody will be disturbing you, disturbing you. You just want them to shut up. You just be like, see, eh, this thing not go work. It's not possible. You cannot come. You need this, you need that, and you don't have it. Bye bye. It's okay. You can't come. She have responded to you. Do you get like there is a high chance for somebody who doesn't have time for you to give you to give you a fake information. Sometimes the, the information is because they didn't make any research, but they don't even have time to do it. They just want to tell you, you know, they call we call it telling somebody off. Like you say something to somebody so that they stop disturbing you. So this is another reason why somebody abroad can actually give you an information that we end up quenching your dream. And how was the solution to that? Get a second opinion. Get a second opinion. We can't give all the reasons why the person that gave you fake news gave it to you, but get a second opinion. The third reason, <laughs> the third reason is most likely is like unlikely, but we still have to call a spade a spade. Oh, uh, 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 another reason is that it may just be an act of wickedness to quench your dream. You get what I mean? Somebody doesn't like you. You now say you want to travel. You say you are be come and travel. Let me see. Oh, road has closed. Even the countries they are no longer taking people. They are no longer allowing people. You know, they are no longer allowing people to come. Just stay in your house. Do, like an act of wickedness. When you are thinking that this person is your friend. What they like it that you're always telling them that they are the ones abroad, they should send you money. They like that relationship, they don't want you to be the one making the dollars, making the pounds all by yourself. <laughs> so, remember, I gave this as the third reason, which I said it is not likely the reason, but it could be in some instances, right? So, I've given you three reasons why people may give you uh fake news, they don't have the information, you know. And uh, they don't have the information, they don't have the time to help you, so they just tell you something to get you off their back or act a, a pure act of wickedness. So, there are three major reasons I've talked about today. The whole point is this irrespective of the reason, let it be that they don't know the information, let irrespective of the reason, right? You don't want to be the victim of that fake information, do you? You don't want to be the victim of that fake information. <laughs> you don't want it to be that your dream was crashed because either a friend did not have to or a friend gave you fake news because they did not have the information. Always get a second opinion. Get a second opinion. Get a second opinion. Talk to somebody else. It doesn't have to be me. Of course, if it is us, we can still answer you. But it could be, talk to, let's say you speak to one friend. They talk nonsense. Go to the next friend. That is not connected with that first person, right? Go to the next one that is not connected to that person. If you keep getting fake um, negative news, always verified by what? Getting a second opinion, second opinion. By the time you get 10 second opinion and they are the same thing, even you will know that, ah, you better say this information not true. Do, do you get what I mean? But of course, before you go about getting second opinion, 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 only God knows when that your second opinion is going to stop. Instead of you jumping around getting second opinion, second opinion, because you don't want to spend money to learn the real thing, right? It's like penny wise pound foolish. Somebody is going to destroy your dream for you. So instead of jumping around looking for second opinion, just Kukuma get trained on how it works. <laughs> Isn't it like sometimes I think about it like it's supposed to be it's supposed to be easy to comprehend. Why is it not that easy to comprehend? I don't know. Why do you want to jump on top of 10 people getting second opinion? Each of them they are taking one one month or two weeks to reply you. 30 days. So before you finish getting second opinion or out of negative news, one year is gone. Do you see? 
Why do you want to be jumping around getting second opinion when you can get trained and you know exactly what you should know, exactly what you have to do to get your dream achieved? Well, seriously, eh? The way, the way I say get second opinion is because some people, they don't want to hear anything that makes them spend money. But that's poverty mindset. Sorry, I said it. That is poverty mindset. That is poverty mindset because they're always so worried about how much they're going to spend. You don't have to get second opinion from me. Pay an, pay an immigration consultant. Pay an education consultant. Pay a lawyer. Pay them and get the opinion that you need. It will help you. Do you see what I mean? Why do you want to be jumping around getting free, free second opinion? That free second opinion can destroy your vision. Can destroy your dream. Are you not aware? So, sometimes when you tell people, pay for something. Me. See, me. If you offer any good service, any good service, eh? She sent to me in but say, email me. Say, Dr. Linda, they offer this service. So, if it's something I need, I'll buy from you. I'm serious. Oh, oh, let me give you my email address. My email address is Dr. Linda at Vantage Migration CA. If you offer anything good that you think, hmm, this thing, don't go and sell me tissue paper. I can buy tissue paper from my from, from my next next door shop, you know. <laughs> don't sell me tissue paper. If you have something unique helping people that can that you think you look at me like this, you say, my business, my students, or uh, myself can need this service. Send me an email. Pitch. Pitch. Because I want you to I want you to make my life easy. <laughs> I want you this every time I'm looking for who offers something? Who offer this? Because why do you why the hell do you want to start from beginning till the soil? Till the soil till the soil until your energy is gone. Focus on what you know how to do best. Outsource the rest. When I use the word outsource means let's say for example now. I have uh, let's say I need accounting service. I have two options. Go to school and become an accountant on top of being a dentist. Or hire the services of an accountant. Possibly say, get an accounting consultant on top of it. Like, it is way easier to do that than to go back to school and do four years. I mean, it is way easier to do that than to go back to school and read accounting. Or to go and take a one-year accounting diploma. Don't you think so? Some people they will rather no, no. <laughs> they must they must not pay for things. Please, if you have something that will benefit me in my life right now, send me an email, Dr. Linda Advantage Regression. Ca. Pitch me. Tell me how it's going to benefit me. How it's going to help my life. I'm telling you, if if I look at it and what you're saying is true, and I really need that service, I'm going to buy from you. Above all, even if I don't need it immediately, I can save your number. Save your contacts. Uh, 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 let me give you a trick. If you are emailing me, let's say you offer, I'm just giving an example, cash shipping services. Put it as the subject so that any day, even if I don't need your service now, any day I need your service, if I just type cash shipping services in my email, your email will just pop up. Do you get, or you can say student financing, student loan financing, you know, or houses or something like, I don't know, <laughs> like you have like, oh, I say houses in Lagos, you know, email me, and who knows, I mean, you know, even if I don't buy today, I can buy tomorrow, I can refer you to a friend, I, I want people that have things that will solve my problem, I want them in my life, that's the truth, that's the truth, I don't know why people, some people don't get it. They rather we ask second opinion, second opinion 10 times for a whole year and still get it wrong than getting trained. Well, for the sake of those people, get a second opinion. Look for somebody that will tell you the information for free. Ask your friend. Ask another friend. Especially if you are getting a negative news. Above all, if you are smart, get trained. Get trained so that you know you, people will be asking you for second opinion instead of you being the person that will be asking others. My dear, you can get trained in 30 days and you become your own agapatapata and you stay at the comfort of your home. You do your application, you do your whatever, whatever. Your visa comes out and you travel. You go and meet your friends there. All of you will drink wine. That's why it's better. So I'm actually giving you the information that will save your life and prevent you from destroying your dream. That's, that's what I'm saying. But as I said, only a few people with the right antenna will be able to catch the frequency of what I'm saying. 
And if you happen to be one of them, you are lucky, let me tell you. If you happen to be one of those who understood the importance of this particular video today, you are lucky. If you have already attended our webinar, chat us inbox, okay? We'll be able to answer your question. And I mean inbox on Facebook or on Instagram at Dr. Linda Iheme. You, we'll be able to answer you. If you have not attended our webinar, go to www.vantagemigration.ca vantage migration does here i also ask the add the description to this video okay i hope you are one of those ones who had a good antenna to get my frequency today well my name is dr linda iheme i'm an educational consultant with vantage migration myself and my team we train graduates on how to successfully relocate abroad through the study abroad route we do this by teaching you how to get admission scholarship study loan and every single thing you need in order to successfully relocate abroad all right and if you're watching me live for this video hop over to instagram where i'll be interviewing someone today who just relocated through vantage migration or if you are watching on youtube check other videos from this channel you are going to see all that testimonials. Even if you're watching on Facebook, the, even apart from today's interview, make sure you, if you scroll through our page, you will see other interviews, other interviews, other interviews. Or you can go to Dr. Linda Heme TV on YouTube. Scroll, you are going to see so many interviews, right? Everybody, people are relocating. You, you can do the same. All right? Love you. <laughs>